Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth, uh, going to be beautiful, low 80s, another great day. Went out this morning to walk the dogs, and I almost turned back around to get a sweatshirt. It was downright chilly, kid. Love it. <laughs> We're I love back. It. We're back. And, Weather uh, is perfect. I wish it would just stay like this. I know. It's real. Like, this is just perfection. By the way, we have a big week just kind of set things up before we get back into our uh, chatting after being away from each other for a while uh tomorrow is midland at mulcahy's big show tickets available moles.com m-u-l-s.com and of course later on in the week sunday the 21st and we've been sold out for a few weeks already sam hunt ryan hurd and lily rose at the long island community hospital amphitheater at bald hill and we're ready to rock. How you been, Candy? Been good. Better every day. What? <laughs> Be- the what weather does that mean? gets me going. I don't oh. know. It's just gorgeous. Oh, I... what a lovely, lovely weekend. Yes, we went from. Now I, I understand. I've been away a while, but while I was away, we went from heat wave to just absolutely phenomenal. Just and when we say heat, it was oppressive. I mean, oppressive heat wave. Just yeah. horrible. Yes. So now, yeah, I've come back to life. Now we uh, we didn't text much, if at all, over the break. Um, no, uh, first of all, you weren't feeling well before you went away. Oh, so let let's back up for a second. Um, the, let's go back. I left Friday, August fifth, on vacation. Let's back up to the beginning of that week, like August first, second, third, some you know, in there. I had not been feeling well for quite some time, for a number of days lethargic, short of breath, don't know what was going on, um, laid up on the couch, so much so that uh, this is a little-known fact uh, some people may not know. I missed the Walker Hayes show at our amphitheater, Kim. Oh, you never made it. Okay, because you were not well. Never made it. As a matter of fact, we were supposed to go away the next day, and I was missing the Walker Hayes show, and, and, and Dana looked at me, to her credit. She says, listen, Let's go to the emergency room because you don't, you know, you've tried, we've tried all sorts of stuff. We don't know what's going on. Let's go at least let them, you know, you might be dehydrated. Let them give you a bag of fluid, whatever, because, you know, I've done that before in all seriousness. I know you may joke about uh, how many times I've done this, but I've been dehydrated or had the flu or had these. What's the problem with the dehydration? Well, it may not have been dehydration this time. I don't know, but. I go to the ER uh, the evening of the Walker Hayes show on August 4th, and uh, they check everything. You know, they take the blood, and they do everything, make sure your heart's working right, and whatever. They do everything. They say, look, uh, we're going to hook you up to some fluid, and we're going to put an anti-inflammatory in the fluid, which I've never had before, by the way. Oh, I never had that. Maybe I should go get one. They put a Toradol, it's called, in the uh, in the fluid, and they gave me some of that. And about three hours later, uh, I leave the ER, and I would I tell you, I mean, I, you know, I came home, I went to bed. The next morning, I was a different person, Candy. Oh, oh. I was a new man, and oh. we went away. And yes, yeah, so as far as the sickness goes, I have no clue. Hmm. What what was and by the way, I tested uh, every day, multiple tests, you know, and, and nothing, nothing came up. So I don't. And they tested me for flu at the uh, ER. Right. Nothing negative. Nothing. I, so who so knows? You were, I was worried. I was I really. Know. I said he's a short of breath. What's going on? He may not go away. And you were supposed to go to Mohegan Sun. Yeah. I texted you to see her. How are you doing? You were at Mo- I said, well, he's fine. He's at Mohegan Sun. <laughs> I can stop worrying. That's the last contact I had with you, and good night. You're right. Uh, so um, definitely felt a ton better and still don't know what the issue was. Now, I'm going to, uh, as per the recommendation of the doctors, I'm going to make a um, an appointment with a pulmonologist and go back to my cardiologist, who, by the way, gave me a clean bill of health a few months ago. And I have not had a stress test in a while, so I'm going to do one of those and just, uh, you know, kind of rule some things out here, Candy. Yes, it was very troublesome. Yeah. 
So well, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, back. You know, next time I'm not feeling well, I just may visit that ER and get a little inflammatory thing going on there. I don't know what, uh, I tell you, it's helped me um, a, a number of times. And um, I and mostly for, like, the flu and real, like, sickness, like, where I ju- like feel like a wet noodle, you know? And you go and they, uh, they give you some fluid and you really feel like a, a new person because sometimes you just can't, you know, as much water as you want to drink or Gatorade as you want to drink, you just can't drink that much. Like it does. Well, you know what I've learned? Yeah. Let's say you have a bottle of 12 ounce water and you drink it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you say, well, I drank, I'm hydrated. Look how much water I just drank. No, no. The key is to sip throughout the day. Yeah. It's just not enough. However you think it's enough, it's not enough. You can't, just because you think you drank a whole bottle of water at once. No. Sipping water throughout the day is what they say keeps you hydrated. And what's even better is when they put it right into your veins, Candy. Oh, boy. Right in there. And I'll tell you, you come out of there feeling uh, like a million bucks. And I did. So, um, long story short, I'm better. And I had, and we'll get into it in the next break. And I know you have some stuff. I want to see how your eight days were. But um, my, my... Eight days off, or however long it was, no, more than that. It was Friday to Sunday, so it was like 10 days off, was split up into two vacations. It feels like I've been gone for a month, to be honest with you. Ramming around, no good, when you're not feeling well. Well, I was better when I went away. but Of course uh, you were. We split it up. We were at Mohegan for half the week, and then uh, came home for a night, repacked, did some laundry, and went to... Delaware for the other half of the week. So we'll get into the vacation coming up about 7.47 or so. Yes, and Casey and Jackie were supposed to go to Delaware. They did not because she's too uncomfortable to be in the car for that long. And she's, what, a month and a half away here? Yeah, if that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. I did text you a picture of the Fenwick Island police car. did, and I'm glad to see there are police there. Yes, as I well, and that was in Milton, Delaware. As I was driving around Milton, there was a Fenwick Island police car um, driving. So, and that's where your son's in-laws have uh, purchased yes, the house. Yes, Fenwick so, Island. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I'm, um, uh, you know, figured let, let Dana took a picture while we were uh, coming out of the supermarket there in lovely. Milton. Thank you so much. All right, so seven forty-seven. We'll get into it. I want to hear about your week as well. I'll tell you about mine. Got some interesting things to to go through. Uh, I I think you'll enjoy. Actually, you'll feel bad for me on a couple of them, but I think you'll enjoy. And uh, we'll find out about your week. 7.30 special song as well. Beautiful day. Going to be low 80s. Looks like another good one. My Country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.